<laughs> hey, what up, guys? In this video, we are going to talk about enum and stream, which are really similar, um, but there's a couple key differences. Uh, basically, they're just uh, modules that allow you to work with the uh, enumerable protocol. And an, an enumerable is basically just um, it's a data structure that you can uh, enumerate, you know, stuff that you can go over. So like a list um, or, a, or a range or a map um, or anything of that sort that you can uh, enumerate through the values, okay? So to enumerate is just when you take uh, an item and you do something, you know, you do something with it and then you do the next item. So something like, I don't know, just basically like A equals one, two, three is an enumerable, okay? Because you can sort of uh, loop through, for the lack of a better word, each one and, and do something with it with a function or, or whatever. Now the enum module in Elixir has a whole bunch of functions built in that you can do stuff with. Uh, map probably being one of the more popular ones or filter, um, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go, I'm going to have to comment this out, whoops, used to JavaScript like that. And let's just say IEX enum stream dot EXS. I already have this um, open, so I'm not using A, but uh, that's why I'm getting that error. So let's just say A equals one two three right okay so we get an enumerable enumerable back okay it's a list so now we can sort of loop through it and do stuff to it uh, let's just map through uh, a and uh, do something to it so we'll use the enum module enum dot map and the first argument that this takes is the uh, the enumerable that you want to you know list through and in this case it's going to be a and what do we want to do with it? Let's just have an anonymous function here and we'll just multiply it or let's just add it make it simple by uh, we'll just add one to it. Okay. Simple as that. Close the anonymous function and you see what you get. So it goes over the one and then it adds one to it. You get two. Uh, it goes through the two here. You add one to it. You get three. It goes through the three here. You add one to it. You get four. Okay. So fairly straightforward that's an enumerable you know not not complicated um, it's just hard to say <laughs> uh, one thing you should know about uh, the enum module is that uh, they're eager which means that whatever function you use on the data acts on the data structure like right away you know immediately so uh, it's it's not great to use when you have like a huge data structure and you're using the pipe operator and you're passing it down to the next function because it's going to like act on it immediately on all of the data instead of at the end. So we'll talk about streams in a second, but let's just demonstrate that. So if you have something like enum.map, let's just use the same thing. And then we want to do something else to it. So let's pipe to, um, let's filter through. And we're just going to get a couple numbers. Uh, let's just get the even numbers. So. We'll say uh, anonymous function remainder, and uh, we'll take whatever's passed in first, and the second argument. So this is just the remainder function. So the first thing takes two arguments. One is whatever you're passing in first, and the second one is whatever you want it to, uh, you know, be divisible by. And we're gonna say if this is zero, um, you know, give us give us whatever comes back, and this returns a new list, obviously, because it's um, it's immutable so you get the, the even numbers right so out of uh, remember that a crap I should probably should have cleared this this forget about this right here the second um, the second little piece here just look at this original a one two three we ran through it we added one to each one so we got two three four basically and that actually returned two three four and then we're filtering but if you had like a huge amount of information here in a it would actually give you all of those and then it would filter them um, when you use something like streams it loads lazily which means that it'll run this computation but um, you don't uh, you don't act on it immediately okay so it waits until the last one um, so let's talk about that what I want to kind of make clear here is that we're mapping through and then we're filtering out the odd numbers so basically we're 
uh, acting on this list two times, right? And if you were to do something, you know, another pipe like that, you would be acting on it a third time, which isn't like a big deal when, you're, when your data set is small. Like in our case, A is only three. If you have like millions, that becomes a bit of a performance issue. So pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and talk about streams in the uh, next video, just because this one's getting a little long. And I'll see you there. There is something else to die for Spill the day to get my mind blown Dress it up and go to NASA 200 miles on the dash Got a roll of pound up a gas Put your lanes in the Grand Rapids We the one that kept it cool With all these niggas till these niggas start acting Shoot a nigga like